don't waste our session. Here is the simplest way to master skin retouching in Photoshop in just some few steps. Truth is, retouching is frustrating if you don't know how to do it properly or don't know which tool and settings required to do it well. So I'm dedicating this tutorial to take you in depth on how to do high-end beauty retouching like a pro and master the skills and settings for each tool you'll be using to get the best results. Subscribe to this channel if you find this tutorial helpful and don't forget to like as well. My name is Ekwadidia. Let's get started. Alright, so we have this image over here that I took myself. Yeah, so first and foremost, we're going to make a duplicate of the background layer by pressing Ctrl and J like this. Then we're going to zoom in and then just examine the image just quickly. So as you can see, we have some pimples and stuff on the face that we are first going to attempt to remove, right? So if you've been following my tutorial, you know, I normally use the patch tool to, 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 to do this cleanup, right? So I'm going to zoom in like that. So what this is going to do is we're just going to select circle and then just drag it to an area around where you're editing. This is simply going to fill in that area, the cleaner area into where you want to remove, right? So just circle and then drag to a much cleaner area. Circle and drag to a cleaner area like that. So I call this the basic cleanup, right? So I'm just going to circle, drag to a cleaner area just around where you want to clean like that. Yeah, so you're just going to repeat this so you get a much cleaner area like I'm doing. So let me just speed this side up. I'm sure you get the idea. One reason why I love to do this is it gives me manual control of everything I'm doing. Yeah, so I normally love to do this very much. You can use another tool to do it. That is the clone stamp tool, but then it's gonna, you're, you're not in control of where it fills or the areas it's going to use to fill where you want to remove, right? So I normally love to use the patch tool because it gives me the control of selecting exactly where I like the area that I'm editing to be filled. So let me zoom out. Zoom in a little bit more. So this is the before and then this is the after. This is the before and then the after. Just within some few minutes, we've been able to remove most of the pimples from the face, the visible ones, the most prominent and visible ones here. So this is what we have in now. So we're going to proceed to the next step. That is creating our frequency separation layers. Right, so with the layer one, we're going to press and hold Control and then J to duplicate this. Then we're going to hide the first layer. And then we're going to rename. Let's just rename it first. So rename layer one to color. Like that. And then we're going to rename the second layer as well to texture. Because we're going to be editing our textures on that layer. Right. So let me select the color layer. Now we're going to create our frequency separation now. So you're going to hide the texture layer like this and then select the color layer. Then we're going to come to filter. We're going to come to blur, Gaussian blur. And then we're going to keep this at four is okay. Let me, yeah, I think four is okay. So we're just going to move it or just check it over here. Make sure no, no details are showing. That's the idea. You're going to make sure the details are not showing in the image. You're going to select OK like that. Then our image is looking blessed. So we're going to make this a texture layer visible. We we'll select the texture layer. We're going to come to image, apply the image, and then we're going to change this to color. We're going to keep this as RGB. We're going to change this to subtract. If yours is not subtract already, you're going to change it to subtract. Like this. You're going to keep the opacity at 100%. You're going to change the scale to, to the offset to 128. And then you're going to select OK. Then you're not done yet. You're going to keep the texture layer selected. You're going to come to the blend mode like this. And then we're going to change this to linear light. As you can see, our image is back to how it was before. So we're going to select the texture layer once again, hold control and then color and then create a group and then just put them in. We're going to rename this group to FS, meaning frequency separation. Then select OK. 
So if you want this action created for you, I have it in my digital store. You can check it out. Link in the description box below. Yeah. So now let's proceed. So we're going to select the color layer like this. It's going to zoom into our image like that. And then we're going to start smoothening the skin. So we're going to use our, our uh, mixer brush tool to do this. So this is our second major step. All right, so always make sure your brush is set to soft, is set to soft round brush. And then you're going to make sure this is set to clean brush. This is deselected. And then this is selected. Make sure the brush is canceled. Yeah, it's deselected. I don't know the name though, but then make sure this is selected. And you're going to keep this to custom. Going to keep the wet at 52 for this tutorial, the load at 16, the mix at 31, and the flow at 48, and then this at 10%. Yeah, but keep in mind, you can reduce the size, oh sorry, you can reduce the wetness if you are a beginner. Yes, that way you build the editing, like you build the smoothness up, but then if you're a pro or intermediate, you can keep this above 50 or anywhere around that side. Right, so let's just proceed and then smoothen the skin now. So I'm just gonna brush gently the skin like that. I'm just gonna brush like that. As you can see, the skin is looking smooth. Always make sure you are brushing on the color layer. Once again, if you want this action, you can check it out in my description box. Yeah, I have it in my digital store. All right. Yeah, so I'm going to use this opportunity to tell you guys that I have my um, TikTok going and I'd like you guys to help me. Um, I want to start streaming over there and I need 1,000 subscribers, 1,000 followers to start streaming. All right. I'll be streaming everything live over there. So. I'm currently at 300 something. Yeah, so kindly quickly go there and then just subscribe for me. I'll keep the link in the description box. All right, so now let's continue. All right, so let's just keep brushing on the skin like that. Gently, all right. So make sure if you are in the highlights, like this push portion over here like that, you're only going to brush in the highlights and then Try your best not to brush from the highlights into the midtones or into the shadows. Yeah. So let's just keep it like that. Keep brushing, keep brushing. So I'm just going to speed this side up. Just going to speed it up. Just to make our video not too long. All right. So you just continue brushing with the tips I gave earlier on. Make sure you are not brushing into other tones when you are on it. So just be patient with it and then just keep brushing gently like that. All right, so we're going to proceed to her neck and then her body. So I'm just going to continue brushing still with the Mr. Brush tool and with this sentence. All right, I'm just going to continue brushing like that. As you can see, at, the, at a larger area, I increase the brush size. And then at a small or detailed area, I decrease the brush size. So this is how you're going to do it. Always make sure to increase and decrease the brush size depending on the area that you're brushing. You're going to do this with the open and close brush uh, bracket keys. Let's zoom out and check how our image is looking overall. So this is the before and then this is the after. This is the before and this is the after. So you can see the skin is looking smooth. We've removed all the blemishes and the pimples and the dark spots on the face. And her skin is popping, it's giving. So I'm just zoom out a little bit more. And then just make sure the colors are uniform. So you see at this at this point I've increased the brush size. Yeah, I've zoomed out and I've increased the brush size. So it is one way to make sure or to get a very uniformed colors on the face. 
All right, guys, so this is where we have it now. Somebody is going to ask me what the texture layer is used for. So let me just quickly select the texture layer. I'm going to select this tool over here. That is the Spot Healing Brush tool. So what this does is just like earlier on, we remove the pimples on the face and stuff. This also does that. But then I love to use this to refine the image. So I'm just going to brush over any texture that is too prominent sorry that is too prominent on her face that looks kind of distracting so i'm going to zoom in and then just brush like that this part is a little tricky some people make the brush size very big yeah and then they get a very bad result the reason why i keep the brush size very small is it helps me maintain the natural texture of the image I'm removing some dough, but, but then I still have some natural look to the image. But then when you make it too big, it removes all the textures from the image, which makes the skin looks very flat and then very plastic, which isn't too nice. So that is how you're going to do it. Make sure the brush is small and then you just focus on one area at a time. So you just move image to a different area the hand tool is the space bar so you just press and hold the hand tool to select or to activate this uh, the hand tool and then you just drag to where you want to edit so that's basically what i'm doing just moving the image around and then just clearing it up and then zoom out and check the before and after once again Zoom out. This is the before. And this is the after. This is before. And then the after. As you can see, our image is looking very nice. Everything is looking on points. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for your time. See you guys in the next video. Bye bye for now.